Hello? Hey, Kyler? What's up? What's up? Just calling to uh, ask you a question. I want to know if you want to be a Chicago Bear. Uh, I would love to. I would love to. You know, we're trying to build something special here, and we think you can help us uh, get that done. What's up? I would love to get the job done. Kyler, how you doing? This is Coach Flues. I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Congratulations. Yeah, no, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, this is going to be a start of something really special here, man. You got to turn it loose here, man. I promise you, I will. All right, Bears fans, with the 39th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, Chicago Bears select DB from Washington, Kyler Gordon. It was the moment that changed Kyler Gordon's life forever. A decision that was made with seven minutes on the clock. But the road leading up to that decision began long before the lights flashed on the stage in Las Vegas. It began back in the crossroads of America at the NFL Combine. Yeah. Good. Good. All right. We'll be saying that. Anywhere. Okay. Anywhere. There you go. You go ahead and get it. Picked out a house up there, yeah. Uh, getting close. Getting I'll close. Sell your mind. Huh? I'll sell your mind. <laughs> All right, fellas. I'll see you. Thank you. Okay. Let me get a drink of water. Good afternoon. Anytime you're trying to acquire a player, does he have two things? Does he love football, okay? And is he willing to work really hard? And to me, if those two things check both those boxes, he gets his foot in the door. And that's, that to me is what the evaluation process starts with. Oh! He had a way, kid. Here we go now, lock out, good. Right there. Good, Red. Good. High point, high point. Go score now. Go score. Guys. What's up? Ryan, coach. Good to meet you. Welcome good to, to you Chicago. Too. Yeah, Matt. Yeah. Matt. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Hey, yes. yeah. Matt Eberflus. Yeah. How's it going? Well, you know who you are. All right. I know who you are, too. <laughs> Welcome back to Moving the Chain Series XM NFL Radio. As we continue live coverage from the 2022 Indianapolis Combine. It's our pleasure right now to welcome in the general manager of the Chicago Bears, Ryan Poles, and the new head coach of the Chicago Bears, Matt Eberflus, to the program. Your signature, in my mind, is speed. Yeah, it is, and it's really about quickness, instincts, and striking abilities, and it's a standard. You know, it's a standard of performance of which we operate, and that's not only going to be for defense. It's going to be, hey, how we operate on offense. Those same standards are going to be there, and also on special teams. You know, we're going to play at a high effort. We're going to play with great mental focus and intensity. You'll, you'll be able to see that. So those are real simple principles, but they have to be coached. What were you looking for, and what did he look? It was leadership. It was leadership. I've been in the league long enough to know that at some point you're going to hit adversity. And adversity doesn't really care if you're calling plays. It doesn't care about who you are. It's all about the leadership piece and bringing your team together. And he brought all of that together, and that got me excited. Matt, that's you living up to the big news right there. <laughs> <laughs> right, Thank you, guys. Ryan yeah, Poles, everybody, it. general manager of the Chicago Bears, and Matt Eberflus, new head coach for the Chicago Bears. We've got plenty more to come. Keep it right here on the Great Channel Eight. What's up, man? I ended up talking to them all. So you did? It was even good? the ones that weren't on the list, like I, just, I was over there, so I talked okay. to them all. Yeah. You feel good about them? I do. But you there's some too. that you like have a good feel for? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Cool. Yes. That's all I just wanted. Yeah. All right. Thanks, yeah, man. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks, bro. The hand stuff for him didn't really show up because of the, he didn't have a ton of targets. He was mostly like a gadget guy. But the run after catch stuff showed up. Yeah, because he's fat. I mean, the speed showed up. That one will be interesting to see. Because I guess he was an 11 8 guy in high school. 11 800, which would, which would correlate, yeah. 
I like the man. I just like the, I like his energy. I like the confidence. You don't worry about the size. You don't worry about the size. No, he definitely never shows up when you watch him. But he plays fast. He does. Like, and he's huge. It doesn't make sense. He's not a smooth. He's leaner here. <laughs> As new talent emerged, the free agent frenzy took off in full force, starting with the exit of Khalil Mack. The Bears traded the six-time Pro Bowl edge rusher to the Los Angeles Chargers for a second-round pick this year and a sixth-round pick next year. In free agency, the Bears landed center Lucas Patrick from Green Bay. Grit and determination. I don't need a lot as long as I have an opportunity. Speedy linebacker Nicholas Morrow from the Raiders. It's exciting because everybody wants to be different. At least the great ones do, right? We all want to be different. We all want to be the same. So I'm, I'm extremely humbled to be a part of that, but I'm also excited to, to carve out my own legacy. And former Chargers defensive tackle Justin Jones. Everybody has to do their job well, and that's, that's, that's the mentality I'm taking into taking into this. Being a piece to the puzzle to help get the team wins and try and try to get to a championship, like it's, it's something, something I've been waiting for for a long time. Oh man, I'm getting chills right now. Oh my God. With new coaches, new players, and a new mindset, the Bears return to Hallis Hall for day one of the voluntary off-season program. Morning. We back, baby. Back in the building, back in business. Good to be back. Bear down. It's good. Year two, baby. Let's go! What's happening? You know what I'm saying? Check me out. Check me out, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate you. Appreciate you. What's going on? How you doing? Jones, yes, D line, and that is going to be in this pile right there. It's by names. Bro. A uh, blocking cable, just make sure you grab one of those. Cool. Appreciate you, man. What's happening? What's up, man? How you doing? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Good to be Good back, to man. Up. Yesterday was definitely a, a change for me because I was like, man, like I'm out here by myself now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, but it's all good, man. We got family here. We, we're family too. Facts, for sure. Whatever you need, we're here for you. Like I said, it's, it's going to be fun. Just some good people here. Appreciate that. I'm coming here and I'm going to fight for the guys I'm playing with. I'm going to fight for the guys next to me. I'm going to fight for the guys behind me. I'm going to fight for the guys on the sideline, the people watching at home, you know, the organization who gave me the opportunity to be here. Like I'm, when I think about it, I just know I put that, that I put that pride in my preparation. You know, I just, I, it's safe to say that I'm, I'm really all in for this. How you living? Good. Good, good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you. Stop at each one of these stations today. Okay. And then come back and see what they All right, cool, got you. Stopping in here first. Mm -hmm. Pretty busy day today, huh? Forms, paperwork, downloads. Is that what today is all about? Yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> First day of school. First day of school. Got the weigh-in next. What's up? Hi. Got a little weigh-in? Yes. So you can just scroll or put the numbers and find your name. Ooh. After my senior season, I weighed in at 318 pounds. I played my first year at, with the Chargers and I just noticed the speed of the game was so fast and I felt like I was playing behind a lot of blocks. So now I have to figure out what adjustments I can make. My second year, I came in at 290. I really focused on, you know, changing my body composition to be so I can get out of certain positions. I could be a lot faster on the line. I could be a lot quicker. And that, that, played, that played in my favor. That's probably one of the best decisions I made, dropping all that weight and just being able to, to play to play at a, a stable weight. I'm just ready to see what these guys are about. You know, I'm ready to showcase what I'm about. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to see how we all fit together. I'm ready to see this puzzle get put together and watch us all play and start clicking on all cylinders. That's 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 the magic. That's the magic when it comes to football. Like you, you want you want your team to be one well oiled machine, and that's that's kind of what I what I'm looking forward to. I want you to go around and get all the shoes. Hey, hey, we got one. Hey, get the dunks over there. Make sure you get the purple dunks. Get Larry Hope fit. Get Larry Hope fit.
The veteran players quickly built relationships on the football field, but camaraderie builds champions, and that was done on ice when quarterback Justin Fields invited his teammates to the Chicago Blackhawks game to watch him shoot the puck. That's awesome, just being able to kind of see a different side of guys away from football, so kind of just getting more personal with them and getting to know them better. And, you know, we have a lot of new teammates on the team this year, so I think an event like this is just great. So uh, we're all excited and we're all ready for the season to get started. Tell you what, I'm already liking Chicago. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It has been streamlined hockey so far. Still have not had a whistle in some time. Blocked and saved by Lankinen. Nice to meet you, Oh, yeah, Dieter! Yeah, Dieter! Hey, Dieter looks like a proud dad. <laughs> Most people say the biggest jump is from year one to year two, so I'm excited to see that jump, and I just feel more comfortable playing the game of football and being out there. So I'm trying to be the best leader I can be and, you know, lead my guys, and, you know, we're just trying to work together each and every day and be better. Wish me luck, man. Here we go. Let's do it. I'm excited. First time for everything. Here we go, let's do it. Good luck out there, guys. Good luck. Appreciate it. Good luck. Good luck. Whoa, now I'm the first. closer to me. It's a good thing I don't play hockey. I'm not too good at it. I'm not good at all. What are you guys doing? What's up, bro? Appreciate you. Nice meeting you, bro. Y'all have a good one. We tried. Maybe next time. While the players hit the weight room, the scouts hit the road to assess more talent at pro days around the country. Okay, so here's what we need. We need your ankle bone, your hip bone flat on this pole right here, and I need your wrist flat on the front of it. Everybody got that? So we just got to the hotel room after about a two and a half hour drive from Huntsville over to Waco, Texas. Gonna enter these notes in the system, kind of evaluate each player, give a one-liner on how they did today. Then uh, go grab a bike for dinner and get some rest and uh, repeat it again tomorrow at Baylor. Welcome to the Pacific Northwest and the University of Washington. It's time to go hunting for bears. Pro Day is an opportunity for us to gather more information on a prospect. Of course, we can see their athleticism with their speed in their 40, their explosiveness in their jumps. However, we get to see how they compete as well. We can see how they are as a teammate when they're not doing a drill. Are they out there cheering them on? Or is he standing to the side by himself? There's many pieces to the puzzle of trying to get a prospect right. So here we are, University of Houston. Uh, pro day's about to start. So this will be the last one for me. I'll go home after today, then fly up to Chicago for meetings, and we'll get started on that. But it kind of closes the chapter on this section of the year. Pro days are valuable. They're, you get close to the kid, you get to know them, you pull them aside, you can talk to them, you see how they compete in drills. And like I said, just another check mark. To, uh, to check things off that you learned during the year and make sure everything matches up and lines up as you get closer to the draft. Uh, we got Penn State versus Wisconsin here. We're talking about Jaquan Brisker. Uh, this is uh, Dom Robinson, number 11 here. This game's for Central Michigan. What I like about this play here uh, as an evaluator uh, showcases pre-snap awareness, uh, natural instincts and playmaking ability. Um, I think here you see Dom's kind of athletic ability show out. First step quickness, the burst. So anytime you see this, uh, this is just a good indicator of what can translate to our level versus some high level tackles. Jaquan's responsible for this running back. Sees this running back stay in the protect right here, okay? All right, instincts take over. Recognizes this quarterback's eyes. Jumps this route. Secures the ball. Takes off. Outstanding play by him. Gotta have it moment. Big time. 
With the draft right around the corner, the Bears opened their doors to athletes in their own backyard. The annual local pro day was held in the Walter Payton Center at Hallis Hall to give scouts a final look at potential rising stars. Hey, hey I'm live. I'm live here with the first female scout of the Chicago Bears. It's not me. Where did you guys see her on the first NFL Network. NFL Network. NFL Network. She did a panel. I just want you to know my daughter looks up to you. Look, he's trying to put on a show now. I didn't want to pull anything. I couldn't jump. Oh, here we go. One, two, three. Work hard. Good luck, fellas. Come on, drive, drive, drive. All right. Oh, you felt it. If you run fast, you're going to run fast every time. Kids moving. 23. Nice. His dad played at Illinois State. Ditka loved him because he's so tough. He called him in because Ditka personally cut the guys. He didn't let nobody else do it. He did it. He said, what you got going? He said, I ain't got nothing. He said, hang on. He calls this guy and says, hey, I got a guy here you want to hire. Car wash business. And he wound up like running the corporate sale. Oh I mean, the whole, I mean, he wound up big time. I saw you, Dicka knew this kid was, probably wasn't a football player, but he knew he had something. It's tight work right there. Huh? I said, that's tight work right there. <laughs> coach him up, coach him up. <laughs> Time to get exposed. <laughs> this is the drill. I love this drill. Come oh. on, oh, Ben, baby. You got to bend. Ben, Ben, Ben. This guy's tight. Oh, boy. He's tight, fellas. He's special. Like, everything you want in a football player, that's him. Easy. Yeah, he's, he got it. Where's he going? Bear down on three. One, two, three. Bear down! It's a wrap. Good Great work, job. fellas. Good work. Local day is over. As the scouts evaluated talent, players are also busy getting acquainted with their new coaching staff. Justin Fields and the Bears offense took their first snaps under the new regime at the three-day voluntary minicamp at Hallis Hall. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? you okay? I'm good, man. Everything good with Family's you? good? Family great. That's cool. Can't wait to get them back out here. I'm mic'd up today. Cause I think I'm mic'd up today, so. so. You are? Yeah, so. Don't be saying nothing crazy. To, so trash, stay away from your, you know. Well, that Mooney's quick, isn't he? <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't help but smile when he went around those cones. I tell you, finish is good. Simba's a good finisher. Pringle's a good finisher. EQ's a good finisher. They just it comes natural to them, you know. Switch ball carrier. Ball's in the right still. Ball carrier switches. Wrist above your elbow. All right, here we go over to the base drill. Justin, you're up first, right here. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna guide you one way or the other. All right. If I, I'll put my hand up. I'll tell you which square to hit, all right? If I put this hand up, we're just going there. there are, there's only one square, all right? So you're gonna work yourself back and forth. Stay right, keep that base. Here we go. Keep our base, keep our base, keep our base. Black. Good, that was better, that was better. White. Oh, banks are open. Banks are open. Yes, sir. After weeks of preparation, draft day was finally here. While Kyler Gordon took the stage in Las Vegas as the newest member of the Bears defense, Ryan Poles and staff were back in the draft room playing a game of beat the clock. One pick away. <clears throat> right down Gordon. One. Uh, Brisker two. Pick is in. Run the clock. 
Put it in. Okay. Round two, pick 39. Kyler Gordon, K Y L E R G O R D O N. Defensive back, Washington. Awesome. What's up, Chi Town? It's Kyler Gordon. Can't wait to get to this city, put in that work, and have Soldier Field turn. Can't wait. Bear down. Pick us in. I'm going to take Brisbane. If he's still there. Hey, this is Ryan Poles from the Chicago Bears. How you doing, man? I'm doing well. I got a question for you. Ready to be a Chicago Bear? Yes, sir. You just got to steal the giraffe. Yes, sir. Yeah. You no doubt. Take that frustration and, and bottle it up and don't ever forget it. Yes, sir. I got you. Yes, All sir. Right. I got you. Hey, I'm so excited for you, man. I love the way you play, man. You run and you hit, man. You got great range. And uh, you're going to take the ball away. So I'm really excited about it. You're going to change football games for us. Yes, sir. I appreciate that. Thank yes. you for making this call. With the 48th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Jaquan Brisker, defensive back, Penn State. Bears Nation, Jaquan Brisker here. You no, know, happy to be a bear. Let's get it. Pick is in. We're on the slot. Hello. Hey, Bears. How we doing, my guy? I'm doing good, man. It's Ryan Pulse from the Bears. How we doing? Are you ready to be drafted? Man, most definitely, most definitely, my we guy. We need some speed over here. You gonna bring it? Yeah, man, I got you. I got you. I'm about to go let you die. I got you. Bayless. What's up, coach? You knew this was going to happen, didn't you? Yeah, I did. First I of all, God, we had a great conversation. I, I did too, man. We had a great conversation, didn't we? We had a great conversation, Coach. Yeah. I appreciate you. The Chicago Bears select Bayless Jones. We had three players that I know are going to help our team get better. Uh, they're going to improve our team in the playmaking. They're going to improve our team in the locker room and the culture that we're trying to build. Uh, so anytime you kind of hit that trifecta of these players improving different areas of your organization, you're excited about that. So we're just going to keep pounding and pounding and pounding, knowing that like we can't fix everything in one year, but we sure can just keep chipping away and just approve it. If it's that much better, we're going to keep doing that. And then over time, we'll start to collect all of those units and, and get better as a group. On the final day, Poles and his staff were able to turn three picks into eight, ultimately collecting an 11-man 2022 draft class. Hey, Bear family, it's Braxton Jones here. Yes, this is Dominic Robinson from Miami of Ohio, linebacker, Edge. And Zach Thomas here. Super excited to get to Chicago and get to work. To join the Bears family, Bear Down. Can't even describe how fired up I am to get it rolling. Uh, as it's always been in this house, Bear Down, baby. Y'all just tired of calling from Southern University. I'm ready to be a Chicago Bear and get the work, man. Let's go win the Super Bowl. Elijah Hicks, safety at Cal. It's Trenton Gill. I can't wait to get to Chicago, and I'm excited to get to work. Let's freaking go. Bear down. Uh, our whole staff was excited about the talent we brought in through the draft, which just gave us a lot more ammunition to bring in more players to compete and make this roster more competitive. And I truly believe that when you, when you increase the amount of competition, you get the best out of everybody. I'm pumped about the direction this team's going, and, and, and we're just going to make sure that the best players are on the field, and that should mean a, a lot. Okay. Hey, I know everybody's not in here, but I want to congratulate Ryan Poles for his first NFL draft. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you guys. All right, buddy. Great job.